Well, all right, all right. So, uh, in this video, man, I, I've got a ton of projects going on, but I'm going to continue on. I'm still working on um, that LED, you know, riser, or uh, I've been calling it an extension. And I'm still working on the modular, you know, swappable design. Uh, I have two designs out there now, and I'm going to continue with the modular. Um, and, and you'll see why in a minute. But uh, I'll show you here, and I'll show you what I've done on the X1. Um, and I'm tailoring this one here for the, for the P1 series also. But, uh, well, let me show you a, uh, a quick shot. Yeah, so here's, uh, here's the one I made for the P1 series. Now, I, I keep saying the P1 series, differentiating between the P1 and the X1. You can actually use this on both now. Um, I just wanted to make the version like this uh, a little more tailor-made for the X1 just because of uh, the, uh, the power requirements on the X1. And you can see here... The, the power really needs to come from an external power source in the rear and come through. And, and you saw this on the, uh, on the previous video. Um, this version and this version has not changed. Uh, this one I did come across and to show you the modular piece of it, uh, I did make the, the vent for that. And here are the pieces I replaced. You can see I just popped that on, printed these off, and there they are. So now the X1 has, uh, has the vents. And they are a tiny bit smaller than what was on this one. And that's just because of the size of that sidewall, you know, that uh, this piece here. But you can see it's still an operable vent and you know I'm not going to put any controls like this on this one because uh, what I'm going to try I mean the LED like I said has the the power coming in from the rear and I'm going to have the uh, that BL LED controller hopefully here pretty soon and I'm going to install that so it'll all be controlled by the unit you know the lights and the color and all that good stuff um, so this one I am changing because this one, this one was the original, the very first one I made, and you can see, um, see a gap here on the bottom, and that was because I did not take into account the hardware on that lid here on the latch, so it's shoving it down and spreading it out on the bottom. And I discovered that, you know, fairly quickly. It's just I didn't replace them yet. Oh, and on this one also, I didn't uh, uh, have enough clearance to add that weather stripping on this one. So, so when you're putting it on and off, you can see it's kind of noisy. And with this one, you can see there's, there's no gap. And it has the weather stripping, so it's much, much quieter. Uh, but here is the modular piece. I'm going to continue with this. This one I just printed it all up. So this is the modular piece. Uh, it comes with the vents, uh, the rear axis, which you don't really need on the P1P, but it's there. And, uh, and here I'm going to put the LED control and the hygrometer here just like this so I'm gonna have these two yeah I think it'll be pretty cool and and of course it still has uh, you can see all this stuff here it still has the the provisions for wire ties um, it has that 45 degree angle support and that's where the LEDs so they'll be kind of pointing 45 degrees you know into the into the cavity uh, 
And this is the one I'm going to finish today. And I'll install it here and turn it all on and let you, you know, show you how it how it looks. Um, these other ones I have other plans for. Uh, different configuration here. And this one I might just uh, leave the way it is. Um, but we'll see. But, okay. Yeah, so all this, um, I did update the bomb. Like I said, it's going to be uh, Rev 3 now. And I added the new parts. Uh, the new sides for the for the vents and I also put in an example bomb say okay if I want the full-blown version like this well here's the bomb for it right so you can see how it's structured and that way you can pick and choose whatever you want to put on there and uh, and I'll show you what that looks like yeah so here's the bomb and I will export this as a PDF, you know, when I post it on Maker World. But this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be Rev3, as you can see here. Everything that is highlighted is for the base assembly. And you see everything that's, that's an option uh, for that particular part. You know, it shows it as an option. If you want to pick whatever you want. Um, say if you want... Uh, with the LED control, like you've seen here, the, with the LED control but no vents and all that stuff, well, you can do it that way. Or um, you can see down here, I did an example bomb. Say if I just wanted the full, the full blown assembly, full blown at this moment anyway. <laughs> it's uh, you can get it with the side vents, the front LED control, and the front hygrometer, and that's what the bomb would look like if you picked everything um, and you can see I reference um, the weather stripping um, what LED strip I used and the hygrometer that I used and and you notice the hygrometer it's uh, I put them on there and of course it shows the, the uh, humidity and the temperature it's just it's showing in Fahrenheit but uh, but it looks like it's a common size, so take a look at it, and I'm sure you can find one that's that'll show centigrade. Uh, I'm going to be looking for that myself. But uh, but in the meantime, there's the parts that I use to uh, to model this stuff up, and I'm sure it'll change later on. Um, this might be it for a little while, but I have some other ideas. But uh, but that's what it's going to look like, and I'll put it. Uh, It'll be on a PDF whenever I post everything up on Maker World. Let's get this uh, plugged in. Have to feel for it under here. It's kind of awkward. I wonder if I can get it through this way. There we go. Dang. That took forever, huh? Alright, let's pop everything in. There we go. Nice and snug. Perfect. And let's turn it on. Yeah, I think it did help a little bit with the light, didn't it? 
Should have done it before and after. You can see, I think it's a um, little better lighting with it going at 45 degrees like that. But there's the control and there's the hygrometer. Alright, so that one's set up and I've got my X1 set up there too. But uh, LEDs aren't on this one yet. That will be coming. And I have a, another experiment with this one. If I have time, I need to get these these printers rolling. I'm behind on production. <laughs> yeah, so that is it for this video. I just wanted to give you a heads up saying that I'm going to post some more stuff on Maker World for, uh, for this riser here the LED extension and and this might be the the last for a little while um, as you can see there's plenty of options that you can choose you can mix and match but I do have some other ideas <laughs> and one of them uh, of course with this LED controller there's so many different LED strips out with different uh, controllers on it so they're there might be some some changes or some additions say if you use this this setup then here's you know here's the plate with that cutout on it um, there's just so many of them I don't know if I'm gonna get to them that quickly if I do maybe they'll be on on my website where you can go in and and pick and choose what you want um, what else oh um, because I'm always complaining about the camera, uh, the performance of the camera on the P1 series stuff. Sure, you can turn it on and you can see the part, but when everything's moving around, it's real jerky and it's kind of annoying. Sure, you can see the, the status of the part and see if there's anything going wrong with it, but it's just kind of annoying just, just because I have an X1 and the camera works so good. It's kind of annoying to, to watch it on the P1. But uh, I was thinking about adding uh, a, another add-on here where I can mount a camera to this thing. Uh, some kind of webcam, right? And just hook it on Wi-Fi so you can at least get a good picture of it on your phone. Because um, when you think about it, uh, say if these two are on uh, LAN-only mode, uh, well, I can't use the Handy app anyway, but at least I could have a camera on there that I can monitor on my phone. That way, you know, I don't have any other control over the P1s, but but at least I can see, you know, what's going on. So I'm thinking about doing that and adding the mount onto this. But we'll see. Um, so as far as the modular stuff goes, that might be coming up a little later. But I do have some plans on uh, some pretty neat uh, uh, experiment with, well, well, you'll see. Uh, I'm going to try this one a little different, and we'll see how it turns out. So uh, that will come up in another video. So stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.